Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a comparison on different methods we can use to remove panel liner. Among the things we'll be using to compare today are some paint thinner, Zippo lighter fluid, some tapered cotton swabs, this nifty tool from Gaia Notes, as well as an eyebrow remover. I don't know what the results will be like yet, but hopefully this will provide an answer to a lot of the questions you guys have about panel lining. So let's check it out. Of course, to test some panel liner removal, we'll have to actually have some parts with some panel liner on them. We'll be using these mostly random leg armor parts from the Massagrade New Verka, and we're going with the black panel liner, that way it's easier to see the differences. And with the panel lining done, it's time to assign the different methods that we'll be using. For these first three, we'll be using cotton swabs, along with paint thinner, Zippo lighter fluid, and 91% isopropyl alcohol. These bottom three will use the same solvents, except with the Gaia Notes tool. This part on the top right, we're gonna use that eyebrow remover, and this bottom right one will actually use a regular eraser. Okay, so first up, we will dip our cotton swab in the paint thinner. One thing to note, anytime you're working with paint thinner, try to make sure your room is at least ventilated. Long exposure to these fumes is definitely not good for you, but if your room is ventilated or you have a proper filtration mask, then you should be fine. And I'll show some close-ups for all of the parts so you can see the detail as well. Next up, we'll do the Zippo lighter fluid. And here are the results for the Zippo lighter fluid. Next up, isopropyl alcohol, AKA rubbing alcohol. Here is the result for the rubbing alcohol. Next, we're gonna do the same three solvents with the Gaia Notes tool. This thing I was actually able to pick up on Amazon. Shout out to Bastard Crab in the Discord. They were actually the one to post the link to it. At least I think it was him. Actually, I don't think you use a solvent with this. It's kind of like a rubberized tip, so I think you just rub it onto the paint and it should help it, and it should help remove it. So it comes with like 10 of these tips, 12 actually, and you can stick them onto either end of this stick here. But yeah, it feels very soft, almost like an eraser. So let's see how it does. We'll use it on this piece that I accidentally got a little messier than the others. Okay, so clearly I can't read these Japanese instructions, but yeah, just this tip alone is not taking away the panel liner. I'm gonna try a little drop of lighter fluid, and if that doesn't work, then I guess this one is a bust. So I can see that it absorbed into the head a little bit and it made the surface expand a little bit as well. It seems to have dried out a little bit, so we'll put one more drop. And there's the finished result. As you can see, when I put that last drop, it actually ended up taking off a little more panel liner than I expected it to. Next, we'll move on to the eraser. So just a regular eraser for like pencils. Here is the before. And here is the after. And lastly, I really don't even know what's in this. It just seemed like it would be interesting to test. So this is for specifically when people color in their eyebrows. I don't know what the actual term for the makeup is, but this is supposed to clean it out. So we'll see if it also works on panel liner. Here is the before. And the after is pretty much the same. There's not even any panel liner residue on the tip of this. So this one's a bust. 
All right, so in our testing, we ruled out two things. First thing, this eyebrow eraser does not work at all for panel liner. Second thing, this Gaia Notes tool is pretty cool. The packaging shows that it can be used for makeup detail on your figures or dolls. Maybe I'm just not using it right. And if you know how to use it, please let me know down in the comments so that my $9 or so isn't completely wasted. So of course that narrows us down to probably the top four most popular ways of removing panel liner. We have paint thinner, lighter fluid, rubbing alcohol, and a regular eraser. So you guys have seen the finished results. I'll go ahead and give my opinion on the different methods. For the most part, the paint thinner and the lighter fluid will give pretty much the exact same results. You get a little bit of smearing of the panel liner and the panel liner also lightens up a little bit because the solvent is pretty strong and removes a little bit of the excess panel liner. And the main difference is with the paint thinner, unless you have a top coat underneath, there does pose a threat to the plastic, where if the thinner is left on the plastic for too long, the plastic could become brittle and crack. With lighter fluid, you have pretty much next to no chance of that happening. The rubbing alcohol actually gave really surprising results. I didn't think it was gonna take off the panel liner, but it did. The panel liner didn't fade at all as well because, well, it was kinda hard to take off the panel liner. A little more effort was put into removing it. I had to use more pressure with the cotton swab. So because of that, you kind of get a little bit more control as to how much panel liner you're removing. And that will result in a deeper colored panel line. And lastly, we have the regular eraser. This one was a very good result. It gives that same full color panel line as the rubbing alcohol. The main difference between the eraser and the other solvents is that the eraser is a pretty clean method to removing the panel liner. You don't have to go out and get another cotton swab, you don't need paper towels, and there's no liquid involved other than the panel liner. So it's really easy to just panel line your parts, let it set, and then come back later with an eraser. So with all that being said, I think my favorite method and the method I might be using from now on will be going with the eraser. One thing to note is that all of these parts were not top coated in any way before panel lining. So this is just panel liner on bare plastic. The results might differ if you have a top coat or a color coat underneath. Maybe sometime in the future, if the difference is significant enough, I'll do another video on that as well. But that concludes our test today. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. Let me know what ways you use to remove panel liner. And also, let me know if these results changed your mind a little bit. And of course, I've got to give a shout out to my Patreons of the channel, especially our two new ones, Farls and Pantifo. If you'd like to become a patron of the channel, join the Discord or follow me on Instagram, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. And of course, don't forget about our channel partnership with Studio Gundam Store. There you might be able to find some hard to find Kits, as well as Studio G's own branded paint and detail parts. You can also get there by clicking the link in the description and don't forget to use code AMILA5 for $5 off of your order. And that concludes the video everyone. As usual, hope you have a good rest of your day and start building.